First we're going to load our head PSD into Photoshop, then hold on to it and press the little second button and press edit texture when a tab pops up so we can get the UV open. Load in your picture that you want to use for your hair base and then measure it up, put the opacity down so you can see where you're lining up. And then you're going to erase the parts that you don't want. Once it's all lined up, you want to go back to the UV and add a layer, then go back and press merge down. So now it's onto one layer and onto the head, like wrapped around the head in the UV. And then you can just erase it. Okay, so you don't want the blurry part. And you keep doing that to all the parts of the head, all the sides and everything. But before you merge it down, make sure you add a layer in the UV section before you uh, merge it down because it's going to ask you that you need to change the texture target. And that just means to add layers. So I'm doing the same process for the sides of the head. So I'll try to find a good reference that has the front and the side and maybe even the back of the head. You can also clean up um, the hair base on the 3D head as well as the UV that's flat like that. So I did edit a little bit off the camera. I'm not the best hair base maker, but this is basically the process of how to make a hair base. And when you're done, you want to go to the layers right here and uncheck all of them except for the ones that you made for the hair base and export it out. Then go to Second Life, press Create, go to New Clothes, and where it says New Tattoo, and then you can name it, and add it on your head, then press Edit, 
then go to the head tattoo press local so you can just upload your work in progress instead of paying the 10 else to upload every single texture you made see it's not the best and it's not done but it's a hair base just uploaded it because I couldn't see um, a color to match it with the ponytail so I need to upload it fully so that I could see it without having to press edit. Mm -hmm.